Hey everyone, it's Zach and we're here for a new episode of Zach's Variety Show. I'm coming to you live from New York City or the Bronx outside and I have a new hairdo. I got my hair did and all and everything. So well, first of all, I'm just heading back from eating pizza with George and I'm going to start off with my hot topic. I know I normally start off with Hot of the Week, but I just have to start off with my hot topic. I was about to give George a blowjob underneath the table in the pizza place and I got chewed out because I couldn't show public display of affection. If I want to padoa with my partner in public, I can, okay? That's my hot topic. Public affection outside between the gays, okay? If a hooker could give a guy a blowjob, I can definitely kiss my man or give my blowjob. <laughs> give my blowjob a man. No, <laughs> give my man a blowjob in a pizza parlor, okay? It's underneath the table. It's not like anyone's going to see. So that just pissed me off. I can't even hold hands with him in public, especially here in the Bronx, because I might get shot in a bad way, okay? And it just pisses me off. It really does. It really does. Why can a straight guy and a straight girl kiss? but a gay guy and a gay guy can't kiss, or lesbians can't kiss, or if they do, it's a, oh, look at those two friends kissing. But if a guy and a guy kiss, it's like, ooh, oh my God, the world's gonna end. Well, you know what? I say power of the padoa. If I want a padoa, then I could, okay? And padoa is public display of affection. Okay, so start using it. The power of padoa. Say it, padoa, padoa. That's been this week's hot topic. Leave a comment below. Delow, Delow. Leave a comment below on what your take is on public display of affection between homosexuals in the street. So let me know, okay? Just because I wanted to give my man a blowjob, I got chewed out. This week, the hottie of the week comes to you from YouTube, actually. He's one of my... I hate school buses. Okay, and his name is, or the YouTube account name is Soundly Awake, and I will put a link right here, covering my face, unfortunately. But, oh, I don't have my little beard, huh? And, I don't know, he just makes girls look good, even with a beard. I'll leave a link down below, his name is Nick, and I want to suck on his, finish that. Anyway, hey Nick. So this week I have two Z-mails. One was a question from a viewer who would like to stay anonymous. Um, basically asked me at what age was I when I lost my virginity. And I'll answer that once Con Edison passes by. Connors. That's why they're called Con Edison. They con you out of money. Anyway, back to the question. Um, well, I lost my virginity, if you say it was losing my virginity, at the age of six when I was raped. Um, I don't, I don't consider it me losing my virginity because I didn't even know what the fuck being a virgin meant. Um, I just wanted a slice of pizza and I ended up getting fucked by a 40 year old guy. And from then on I just became a little whore, so I don't know. But I say technically I lost my virginity when I was 12 because then I knew what it was. Um, but yeah, but if we're being technical, um, at the age of six, that's when my anus ring was popped open. My other, my other Z-mail comes from an anonymous viewer. He basically says that his partner and him have been together for a year, but he's still a virgin and his partner has fucked 12 gods. He wants to use a condom because he wants to stay safe and doesn't want to catch any STDs, but his partner doesn't want to take a test or use a condom um, because he just wants to have bareback sex with his partner, saying that he should just trust him for who he is. He wants to know what he should do. Well, if I were in that situation, I would kick him to the curb and tell him to go fuck himself literally because, I mean, I'm a virgin and you've been with 12 other men, but you don't want to get a test or use a condom when you want to fuck me. I'm sorry, okay? I have already went down on you and risk that. I don't want to risk my life and catching something that you might have. So that's what you should just tell him. Go fuck yourself or get tested and get a condom and fuck me. That's what you should just tell him. So that's been this week's Z-mail. Have any questions, dilemmas, anything you want me to talk about but you're afraid to say, leave it in the comment below or email me at nightcloud at hotmail.com. I will put the actual, I guess, 
topic on the bottom in the cock bar. But there you go. Hey, big boy. How you doing today? I'm doing just fine, Juicer. Well, I just want to tell you something. What? Well, this is a joke about us that I'm planning on using at the show. You want to hear it? Sure. I got nothing better. I know you don't. That's why I'm telling you, you stupid bitch. Okay, so here it goes. Me and my boyfriend are laying in bed, and after every time we have sex, I like playing with his balls. Now, my boyfriend one night asked me, Honey, why do you play with my balls after every time we have sex? I rolled over and said, I miss playing with mine. <laughs> what uh, do you think? <laughs> oh, that's an image. I know, isn't it? But I kind of like told you a secret while I said it. So you're a dude? Yeah. That's hot. Oh my gosh. You want to fuck my pink ass tonight, baby? Sure. Okay, come on, you big dick. In today's writer's block, there's a whole bunch of shit that I need to take out. I feel like I'm constipated with so much stuff. So today, your Urban Dictionary phrase is blue lips. Basically, what blue lips means is a take on blue balls. Well, blue balls for men is basically when they ain't getting on. And their balls turn blue like Smurfs. Well, basically, blue lips are for females who have that sexual pent-up energy, which most of them do, um, up in their vagina lips, and they get blue. So it's blue lips. So there you go. Urban Dictionary. The word of the day? Regeneration. Because the world needs a regeneration. Okay? I'm tired of the stupid generation of kids that are going to be taking over when I get old. And I don't feel right with that. So they just need a whole, whole new regeneration. Would You Rather is a new segment that I'm adding. <laughs> Sorry, I'm parched. Liquids, please. Liquids? Okay. I'll just continue on. Would you rather? Basically is a segment that I'm going to have where you, the viewer, has to leave a fucking comment down below. Would you rather have skin that is made of hay or sweat tang? T-A-N-G. I would rather sweat tang because if I'm in a desert or like in one of those bad situations where there ain't no liquids, I would like totally sweat tang and just drink it. Now if I had a body of hay, that would be kind of cool too if you can't swim because you just, if like you're drowning or whatever, the hay soaks up water. So that would be kind of cool, right? So leave a comment down below. Would you rather have skin made of hay or sweat tang? There you go. That's the would you rather. So, in letters to live by, I will give you a combination of either three or four letters that make up a phrase that you can just shorthand. You know, like L O or W T F or fuck you. You know, like those things. Anyway, here are two of them where they're kind of like a double standard. Okay, the first one we have is G F Y. Most of you might know that as good for you, but in my world, it means go fuck yourself which I just love. So you could be like, oh my gosh, good for you. But inside you're really like, oh my gosh, go fuck yourself. You know, it's kind of like they think it's nice, but you're really just telling them to go fuck themselves. So there you go. G-F-Y. The second one is S-O-S. And no, it is not a Rihanna song. Okay, S-O-S means sack of shit. And that's just it, sack of shit. Or it also means help. Where, I don't know, it's like, if you're actually being, like, hurt or something, you're going to, S-O-S, S-O-S, S-O-S. No, you're going to scream, help, or fire, or rape. 
or something, or get a rape whistle. Anyway, so there you go. G-F-Y-S-O-S. See you next week. More Letters to Live By. Holler and eat pussy! This week's quote comes to you from RuPaul's Drag Race. This is the third time I've done this segment, so I'm pissed off at saying this fucking quote. But I want you guys to say it from now on. Okay, it is from Shangela, and it's basically her catchphrase. Hallelujah. 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 So, you can use that shit for anything. You'd be like, girl, I just got my hair did. Hallelujah. Girl, I just peed on a stick and found out I was pregnant. Hallelujah. Girl, my rent is due and I ain't got no money for it. Hallelujah. Girl, I just got fucked by the biggest dick I've seen in my life. Hallelujah. Girl, you stole my fucking check. Holla knew I didn't. I know you ain't talking about me, you fucking hallelujah bitch. See, you can use that shit for anything. So there you go. Chandela. Changes. Anyway, Chandela might not win RuPaul's Drag Race, but that bitch is gonna make money with that quote. Hallelujah. And ignore that little fuck up I just did in the middle of this segment. Hallelujah, nice day. Okay, last week I showed you the top three must-haves a New Yorker or tourist should have when they're in the city. Well, this is the top one must-have a bottom boy should always have with them in the house. Ginger ale. Okay, because the last thing you want when you're about to get it on is to have an upset stomach. So, just a little bit of ginger ale and make sure it's warm. And you just drink that shit and your shit will come out. Or, it'll just settle your stomach, you know, just to keep you nice and prepped and ready. So, there you go. Your top one must have if you're a bottom boy. What do you mean Tyra has more ratings than me? I thought I had more ratings than her. She has two more than me? I thought it was more than that. I only get six viewers. I don't wonder her show sucks. I want an, I want an Emmy. Oh my god, a celebrity! JJ! Can I get your autograph? Can I get your autograph?